around here it's Everything that's in there is is me. It's my experience. It's something that's happened. It's something that I, you know, something that's happened along the way that uh, it was either good or bad. It's a, it's my experience. And I think and the first song on the on the CD is called "That's Me." And I wanted that to be the title track of the CD. And so that's you know that's what it is. But "That's Me" is you know if you don't know who I am after that song, one. You will by the second song, you know, you, and then you'll know me a whole lot better by the third song, and by by the track eleven, you've probably already got me pegged. Well, I work my sixty every week. I might have a draw, slow when I speak. I've known to drink beer all night long, sitting on a tailgate to a rowdy song. So when I started thinking about doing this album, I actually came to Nashville, met with some people who wanted to produce it and I didn't really get sort of the vibe that I I wanted. I got back home from Nashville and I had a phone call from Dane Clark. Um, I've heard about him, he plays drums for Mellencamp, but at the time I didn't really know anything about it and the guy calls me up out of the blue, hey let's, you know, I heard you're wanting to do this, let's keep it in Indiana and let's do it, you know, Indiana style. Great. Meet up with him and we, we were like peas and carrots. I'm Dane Clark and I've been in John Mellencamp's band for 15 years. I'm an Indiana native and uh, I got to meet Jason Sturgeon a few months ago through a mutual friend and um, I think we've created a classic record. So Dane and I arranged everything, put it together with the band and got it to a really good spot, mixed it up uh, with uh, Mike Petro in, in Indianapolis. And so we had the, the mixes, we brought it to Nashville and mixed with Ray Kennedy. And Ray's done work. I mean, you know, he's part of the Twang Trust. Uh, Steve Earle, you know, I mean, that's really all I got to say. Steve Earle and and, uh, <laughs> and here he is mixing my stuff. I mean, I was almost hit the floor. In doing the mix, you know, I kind of wanted that person who touches everything around Nashville. So I have a little bit of the hard edge with Ray Kennedy and then take it to Hank Williams at Master Mix and have him put the finishing touches on it. And it, the mixing process was great. Uh, Hank had a lot of good input on what we did. I think he enjoyed what we did as well. Um, my m mother and grandmother came by uh, the studio and listened to some of it on those uh, those speakers in there are amazing. <laughs> but they came by and listened to it and uh, it really made their day. I don't think I've ever seen both of them cry at the same time. So they were both sitting there bawling. I, I don't remember what song it was, but. Uh, it was just an overwhelming day for them, and that was neat in itself. But Hank, uh, man, that guy, uh, the it, mastering turned out excellent, uh, bottom line. So thankful to those guys, and, and uh, Hank and Sandy over at Master Mix, and Ray Kennedy at uh, Room and Board Studio here in Nashville. What's, a, what's your favorite kind of a concert to go to? A country, a rock show? Uh... Well, I, I love, I mean, country is where I started, so I... I I always go back to country and I always stay in country, but uh, I've been to Ozfest. I mean, I've seen Pantera skipping Heineken bottles across the across <laughs> the crowd. Uh, it's you know those get me pumped up, but uh, man, I'm I'm on the fence actually because it's they're both just full blown now full blown rock shows pretty much. I mean, both of them mimic each other. You know what I'm talking about, y'all. And just let me know if you wanna go to that whole world all the green. They got a whole lot of nice girls down here. We have a lot of fun, is what it, what it boils down to. We have a ball every time we get on stage because that's that's why we do all this. You know, it, it takes a certain amount of time to get a, a stage show together, like like we have. I mean, 
we've been doing this for a while, and I think we're we're peaking right now. We're we've got it. This has been a real interesting process because I've always wanted to, to work in music business. That was the first thing I was going to do out of high school, was going to music business. And so now, I mean, I've set up a record label, you know, I've set up a publishing company and set up a team within that to act as sort of the representatives of the label. Uh, project management, two publicists, uh, three different teams working the, the single to radio. It's an involved process, and there's a lot of people working multiple hours a day trying to get this thing out there. I mean, shooting videos and, and just taking you know photo shoots and, and, and everything else, it takes, it takes a lot of a time and energy, not just on my part, but on everybody else on the team. The Simple Life is, is me. I mean, that's how I grew up. That's part of the reason for shooting the video back in my hometown. I mean, that's where, you know, I grew up and did all those crazy things that we shot in the video. Mud and drinking, having a ball. All my buddies came in, brought their trucks. I mean, we, we did what we typically did back in the day. And so, um, you know, and that's, and now everything's picking up and getting real busy. And so, you know, the simple life is even more important to me now. And being home is more important to me now because that's my foundation. That's, you know, my family and my friends and my, my buddies and everything that I, you know, grew up and that I hold dear is there. So one of the locations for the video shoot was this knockout bonfire place, a lake surrounding. It was actually on an island uh, on, on, a, on a family farm. Um, but uh, Eric uh, Smith helped us find that. Uh, Eric's got a helicopter service out of Princeton, Indiana. And uh, so we had the bonfire out in the middle of this lake. Eric, you know, lended his time and his service and his helicopter. And we got some great aerial footage and it's just, I mean, it's knock out footage. Everything I write has a lot of truth in everything because it's it's my experience. It's been an amazing process all the way around.